hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new we started this vlog out today in my bathroom because i am gearing up to have a nice and cozy little fall night <laughs> and i thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along so chris just left to skate chris is my boyfriend if you didn't know i decided to take the night to just have a nice little cozy evening so I think I'm going to decorate for fall, actually. I know I said in my last video that I would be doing a closet swap out type of deal, but I honestly don't think it's like quite time yet because it's still really warm here in St. Louis, unfortunately. Like today, I think it was like 85 or something, which isn't bad. Like it's definitely cooling down, but it's not like fully fall, <laughs> you know? So I feel like I might regret bringing our fall clothes out already. So what I am going to do instead is decorate for fall because it's not too hot to do that. <laughs> as always, I kind of forgot what I have. Um, and as you guys saw in my last video, I did just thrift two little pumpkins and it's got me inspired. I also bought a fall candle recently. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm ready to get the ball rolling. So, no better way to start the evening than a nice little shower. I feel a lot better, honestly. I always underestimate how much better a shower actually can make me feel. A girl is feeling greasy, so I said, I'm a shower, and then we're gonna get this night rolling. So let's do it. Let's go to the basement. It looks so scary down here. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Is it bugs or is it dust? I guess we'll never know. I also don't know if I've like taken you guys down here. Will we ever? Oh, my shadow is scary. Okay. Anyways, I need the flash on my phone because I can't see anything. There's light bulbs, but I don't know how to turn on. I think I only have the one bit. This is an interesting angle that I've never filmed in before. What? You guys just witnessed a silent meow. <laughs> he does it a lot. I don't really know why because if he does meow, he's really loud. What are these? You wanna smell one? I won't let him eat it, don't worry. He's not interested. Um, are you guys interested? These are fall colored Cadbury eggs. Like I said, I don't really remember all of the fall decor I have, but I know that most of it is like Halloween oriented. So, I mean, we'll just see what I'm vibing with, honestly. I probably will use just about everything, but these are the little pumpkins that I thrifted. They're so cute. I love how neutral they are. Do you like them? <laughs> He's like, why are you right here on the floor? Let's just get into it. Of course, first things first, the ghost light. We love this. It's very cool toned, which I don't love, but I honestly think that that's gonna work way better in this space than our old apartment. We'll see though. Lots of Christmas in here. This is just my holiday bin. I love this guy. He probably won't turn on right now, no. He probably doesn't even have batteries, but he does light up. He's really cute, just a little black jack lantern. 
I have this spooky guy who I think I'd probably put on the balcony, honestly, but I'll see if I can find a place for him. My great grandma gave me that, so I'm happy to have it. I have this spooky guy. If you guys were here last year, you probably remember all of this, or maybe you forgot like me. <laughs> so this is all new to you. We have this one pumpkin that's really cute. I'll try to put him on a shelf somewhere. That is like the most like fall theme thing that we have, to be honest. I also decided, I think that we're pretty much gonna decorate more like out here in the living room area because I honestly don't really have that much decor because I've only ever had to decorate for either a studio or just our bedroom. So yeah, I don't really intend on doing like getting a whole lot more stuff either just because it's expensive. I will be keeping my eye out for like fall slash Halloween and also Christmas decor anytime I go thrifting so I'll definitely let you guys know if I find anything. We have these happy Halloween banners which I was thinking I could probably hang those in the living room maybe like above the tv or something. I just don't know if it's gonna look like silly you know. Oh yeah I have this really pretty table runner. I love her. This will probably actually go on our bookshelf just because I wouldn't want it to get dirty or messed up on the table. But then we also have these little headstones, which I love. They were a dollar at Target a couple years back. See, I used to be a Target girly. Back when I had the bigger bucks rolling in, I would absolutely get, I would go ham at Target and other places. Ooh. There was one specific year that Target just had so much cute stuff, especially in the dollar section. So I was just like, all mine. We have these three little guys that are all very cute. Lots of stuff that's just good for like shelves honestly which is perfect because that's mostly what we have in the living room. Oh my god I'm tripping y'all I'm tripping. These are some of my favorite things how could I ever forget? We have these spooky hands. These candle holders. I love these guys. I think they're so cool. Also got this at Target a couple years back. For some reason I feel like there's more. Mm, I wasn't wrong. This will be good. I actually have been buying candy lately. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been on like quite the candy cake. Why won't this come out? What is going on here? Last year, I switched this out to be our change jar, but I think I will actually utilize this for candy. So I definitely need to wash it. But that's so cute. Hmm, jar of rose petals and a jar of lavender. So cute. These are actually for like soap making, <laughs> but they're cute. I also have this guy who dances and he doesn't work, thank god, but <laughs> he's cute. I might put him somewhere. That's also from my great grandma. Okay, I think that was actually it for real this time. So yeah, honestly, most of my fall decor is just black because it's all Halloween. But here, let me show you guys. I guess we'll start putting this around, shall we? You guys are really seeing my living room in its peak right now. <laughs> Look at all the rainbows. And I got a disco ball, which I feel like the camera is not picking up very well. But look, it puts lights all over the room. It looks so good. I'm feeling unsure of what to put where, but we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. So I thought I knew for sure where to put this and I'm you know I'm thinking of hanging it like right here. I just don't know if like anybody will even see it though. And I feel like it deserves to be displayed. I have another possible option. The issue is just the cord really, but I thought maybe 
it would look cute here. I just don't know where I put my ear. Oh my god! You guys still see that leaf? Oh, damn. Got any more, buddy? That was fucked. God damn, like every leaf has fallen off of this back stem, but it is the only one that's growing. Anyways. I don't know, it's not really giving for me, to be honest. I feel like the best place maybe it would be on the other wall, like I said. For some reason, it doesn't feel as big as it used to. I really don't have to hang it up, but it is cute. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. There's so many dots everywhere. It's so cute. See, the other spot that I was thinking was down at the end of the hallway where this mirror is. But the issue is the cords. Like, I would not be able to plug it in right there. <laughs> so I don't know. I really think this might be the best spot right over here. Just hanging like right there, maybe. I'm gonna hang this now. <laughs> Now just picture playing a scary movie on that little TV with the light above it. I think it's pretty cute actually. It is like, it's kind of covered by the plant. This plant is just huge, which also, this video is literally all over the place. Like this is not just a decorate for fall with me because that would end up being like a five minute video. Let's be real. This guy just popped up two new leaves. This one is so big, it's huge. And then this guy is having a little trouble uncurling, as you can see, but he's getting there. I need to spray him down. Birds of Paradise are known for like, having a hard time uncurling their leaves by themselves if they're not in like, the perfect, most thriving conditions. And really, you could do a couple of things, but I find that just spraying them down every day does the trick. It really helps them, that moisture helps them like want to uncurl. Another thing, if it's been stuck at the end like that for a long time, you can wrap a damp washcloth around it too. But yeah, like I said, usually giving it a few sprays does the trick. And I really like to spray mine down anyways, because these are a plant that loves that. Let me show you guys everything else that I did. It really, guys, <laughs> I feel like I'm like scamming by being like, <laughs> fall makeover. Like this is nothing exciting, literally at all. <laughs> like I literally just put like five fall things around and I'm like, <laughs> decorating for fall. <laughs> like, <gasps> anyways, I totally just remembered. I actually have some pillows under my bed. Let's go find those because those are going to be so cute on the couch. Oh, and while we're going this way, I might as well put this guy outside. It's going to be random, but like, I just, like I said, I don't really know where else to go with it. So he's just going to go wherever outside. Oh my God, you guys, look how fucking sad this thing is. There ain't no way he going to live. I don't know. He's looking bad, but anyways. There's that little guy. And there's that little guy. <laughs> Pretend my cat's not sleeping there. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Just take it on the corner, buddy. I put the tablecloth on the top of the TV stand, and then since I had two of each of these, the pumpkins and the little hands, 
I went ahead and put those both up there. I think they look good because just having the black hands didn't like pop enough. So this looks really good. I'm really liking this situation. And then down here, I put this little figurine and this one. And then I already had this little like sloth skull thing, which I will definitely keep solely for Halloween decor. And then I do have the pumpkin back there. But I'm just not realizing you literally can't even see him at all. So I should probably move him. But anyways, very subtle, but I think it's super cute. And then I, <laughs> I just put him on the hinge of our door because I don't... I don't want to put a hole in our door. I feel like that would be really, really loud. When it's time for a wreath though, that'll be a different story. And over here, sorry for the AC, but I did put this vase of black roses in this little corner of the window. On the couch, I put a throw pillow on each side. Kitty is sleeping though, and he really likes this pillow. I would be a horrible mom if I tried to move him right now just for that, honestly. So ignore that it's not finished <laughs> and then up here i honestly thought this was pretty ironic to put the headstones here because all of my cacti are dead like what the f i can't keep them alive you guys it is so bad they probably maybe just don't get enough light right here although i don't know how because it's literally in front of like a window so that's a bummer it is what it is but i thought that these witches with the tombstones over here were like really really cute and it brings some attention up onto this window which i really like and then over on this shelf i put our ghost projector up on the very top it's currently projecting ghosts onto our ceiling you can't really tell because it's still so light outside but it took me forever to angle that right and i'm actually pretty happy with the placement for now so Yes, yes, that's what's going on. Then I have this little ghost guy on the shelf, and I put the pumpkin right here. Also, this guy is not doing good. I feel like he's on his last leg. I don't really know. Maybe I've been overwatering him, but he's just had so many leaves yellow. I just cut probably like five leaves off of this guy at once. And now more leaves are yellowing. Like, what am I doing wrong? I've never had an issue with my Monsteras before. It's making me really, really sad. I don't want to lose this plant. I mean, as you can see, lots of light comes in here. So I don't think it's a lighting issue. I don't know. He probably needs to be repotted. I honestly should, like, go buy a giant bag of soil and probably redo a lot of my plants specifically like my monsteras and the ones that aren't really doing very good but yeah if you guys have any tips let me know i need to find a place for this pumpkin i think i might actually bring him in here because i realized i have these three halloween things left i also have these halloween towels over here that i'm gonna switch out so i might try to do some sort of moment over on this side so we'll see also this guy is still rested. I haven't cleaned him yet. It's a mess in this kitchen. Hold on. We'll resume this in a second. Sorry guys, my phone died, but I just literally spent the last over an hour, honestly, getting the rust out of there. <sighs> it's out though. It's good. It's clean. We can use it now. But I'm making pasta with meat sauce and green beans. Typical ass dinner for us here in this household. It's nothing fancy. It's very easy, very quick, but that's what we're eating. Some good, I don't know, it's, it's not necessarily fall food, but it's nice and filling. I like to eat this a lot more in the fall. So that's our dinner, and then we're probably going to chill out the rest of the night. 